Welcome everybody to this quick tutorial on delegating GRT tokens to an indexer. Now, the process of delegating GRT to the indexer of your choice is straightforward with this step-by-step -step guide. So let's jump right into this. All you need pre-installed in your favorite browser is the MetaMask extension and once you've got this extension downloaded and installed, you can go ahead with delegating GRT tokens to your indexer. Now, once you have MetaMask installed, all you need to do is connect MetaMask, select your indexer and confirm the transactions. We will walk you through all of this in this tutorial. So the first step is to connect your MetaMask. Jump right into the network page where you can see participants and click on the connect button, connect wallet. This is what we are going to do right now. Now, once we have clicked the button, the browser or MetaMask will ask us to confirm the transaction. We confirm next and click connect. Once th this is done, we are in our profile. You can see it by clicking here. This is just a test account, but um, it's loaded with 10,000 GRT on the testnet. And you can instantly view your profile with the amount of GRT that is added to your wallet. Now, if you do not see your GRT tokens within MetaMask, simply click on add token, type in GRT and add the graph token by clicking next. Add token and it's loaded. After you have done that, you can click on participants and basically you can now select your indexer. For example, let's take stake, stake squid one and click right here on delegate. After you've done this, you can basically select how much GRT you want to delegate, type that in, and if you want to delegate everything, just hit all. For this tutorial, we are delegating 5000 GRT tokens and submit the transaction. Now MetaMask will open a new window and ask us to confirm the transaction. You can see here the transaction fee and if you want to edit the transaction, simply hit edit. Now, it's pre-configured to be average. If you want it really fast, click on fast. If you have time, um, delegating is not time sensitive. You can also click the slow button, but it's recommended to hit the fast button if you want a fast and quick transaction. And basically after that, click on confirm. And it says approving funds. So we're just going to wait a second until the transaction has been processed. Now MetaMask will open a new window and ask us to once more confirm the transaction. If you want to edit your gas price and your gas limit, you can do this here. And after that, you can click on confirm transaction. Once more, it's processing the transaction. We're just going to wait until it's finished. All right, the transaction has finally been approved and confirmed. Now you can see in my wallet is 5,000 GRT left and in my delegation is 5,000 GRT. All right, so just have a look at this now. As you may remember, we have delegated to stake squid one at ETH. When we click on him, this is the indexer. These are his metrics or the indexer's metrics and the delegators. Now, if we hit on to our profile, we can see that we are delegating 4,980 GRT, which is basically 4,975. And we can see now in our dashboard on delegating that we have delegated this amount of money and GRT to our indexer. And here you can see your unrealized rewards. Now these will be updated 
whenever the indexer closes his allocation. So this depends from indexer to indexer and can vary a lot. So just wait a second, wait a couple of days or even weeks and you will see an update in this area. So I hope you liked this tutorial and if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask your questions in the comment section below. Until then, happy delegating!